My name is Mark Dolinar. I'm an applications engineer here with Hawkridge Systems. And today we're going to be talking about the 3D texture tool. Now the 3D texture tool is extremely helpful in allowing us to apply a series of textures or bumps onto any of our particular modeling surfaces. In general, Adding these features onto a model would require us to create individual sketches, individual patterns, and then double check to make sure that the offset of those individual sketches and patterns are correct for our given model. However, with the 3D texture tool that was just introduced in 2019, we have the ability to simply drag and drop on a textured image, adjust the settings of that image, and then apply the texture SOLIDWORKS will do the rest. In this particular example, I'm going to be working with this computer mouse, and what I want to do is add a slight a texture to the very top surface of the mouse so that when I'm using it, my hand doesn't accidentally slide off uh, the actual top grip. Now in our case, we're actually looking at the top face body of the computer mouse. And the reason I'm doing this is the first thing we're going to have to do to add this 3D texture is go directly into our Appearances tab. In here, I'll select on Appearances. And towards the bottom of this menu, you'll notice that there's an additional tab called Miscellaneous. Inside of this folder, there is a new 3D Textures folder, which will show you all of the various 3D textures that you can apply directly onto your model. Now, all of these 3D textures are technically just images that are both black and white. Those are going to be extremely important a little bit later on when we're actually applying these individual textures. But as you can see directly inside of this window, there's a large series of textures that we can apply directly onto our model and work from here. In our case, I'm just going to go ahead and grab one of the knurled surfaces and simply left click and drag directly onto my model's face. Now you'll notice that there is a selection manager that automatically appears. Make sure that on the selection manager, you choose to either apply it directly to the top face. Once applied, you'll notice that the texture itself will automatically appear up above. Now the sizing of that texture will be determined by any of the appearance settings. You can find this menu by either right clicking inside of your appearance window and clicking on edit appearance or when you're dragging and dropping in that appearance simply holding the alt key down while dragging it will also appear this window in our case i'm actually going to go into our advanced tab select on mapping and towards the bottom we'll see that we have the option to change the size or the width of this particular appearance I'll go ahead and make this a little bit smaller and say that this will be okay for what we want for this 3D appearance. At this point in time, clicking on OK, we'll have our appearance set and ready to go. The last thing that we'll need to do is go directly into our feature manager. I'll find my solid bodies folder and then find the individual body that has this appearance applied. From here, simply right click on the body and choose the 3D texture option. This is going to open up a 3D texture tool. Down below underneath the texture settings, you'll see all of the various textured appearances that you have applied. In my case, I only have one. I'll simply select on that one textured appearance and SOLIDWORKS will begin to apply the texture directly onto my model. I'm going to leave the convert to this texture to 3D turned on so that at the end we still have a 3D model. And then down below, this option will allow you to choose what color is going to be offset. So in our case, the weight appearance on my appearance texture will be the one furthest away from the body, whereas the black will be closer. Down below, I can adjust any of my texture refinement by sliding this all the way up to 100. What this is going to do is double check and make sure that this appearance texture is as close to that actual image as possible. Once that appearance has been applied, 
we'll now see a very close representation of what that appearance will look like. Again, this will look a lot better once the appearance has been fully committed. But I am free to go ahead and adjust the offset distance or the element size in order to make this appearance look as nice as I would like. At this point in time, I'm going to say that this will work well for my part. Selecting OK will confirm this individual appearance. And now I have that appearance texture automatically applied. And notice this took very little effort on my part. Had I done this through traditional modeling, I would have had to create a series of sketches, maybe patterned, in order to create this exact same result. But now we have our body in place, and this can be used to create a 3D print, create a mold, or anything else that we would like inside of our individual piece. With that, I'd like to thank you for watching this video, and please make sure to like and subscribe to the Hawkridge Systems YouTube channel for more educational content such as this.